people sing about it, write about it, collapse under it, and run from it. But some of us keeps chasing it. If only I wanted something normal like any other bike. But no, I am drawn to something special. KTM is chaotic, dramatic if I must say, complicated, but it's also incredibly beautiful. It's a giant mess, but it tickles in the right places. It makes me smile, it makes me giggle, makes me want to ride more, and makes me want to talk about it. So we're here to talk about the things I like about my KTM Juke 390. To anyone that will listen, even if I see their eyes roaming around saying that what the fuck is he saying, it does all that and more. If it makes you all of that and some more, don't you deserve at least to try? Number one of the likes or pros of the KTM 390. If you are not sold by this, by one KTM is offering a lot of options for lower CC bike that mostly other manufacturers have in higher CC like the 600 or 1000s. KTM has full TFT display, dual ABS front and rear, adjustable rear suspension, adjustable levers, both clutch and brake, and the super moto mode. You can turn off and on your rear ABS. That is the super moto. As I've said, this bike is the best beginner as they don't need to change bikes so fast because of the modes you can still enjoy this even if you are already intermediate in the class. Full LED on all lights, WP suspension, upside down fork. This is at its top of the crop on its category. Period. No question asked. Number two, pros, ride by wire and sleeper clutch. What more do you want for a 400cc class? It's like they put a super duke in this guise of a 400cc bike. Number three, has all the torque from zero to any speed at any gear. I have tested this on the streets and as you can see on the expressway or in the highway that we have here in the Philippines. Number four, super good brakes. The Vibre or the Brembo braking system with its good bite at any speed or any RPM. Number five, as we talk in the number four, the Vibre brake calipers which made the Brembo to add little pops that comes out the exhaust canister when you rev it high sounds freaking good. I mean the 4 and 5 is almost the same but just uh, putting it out there it's a really good braking system. Number 6. If all of that won't convince you only the KTM Duke 390 this I just I just learned this on the roads. I didn't even know that it has this feature. Nagsisigaw ako like a crazy person on the road when I tested it. The number 6 is the Quick Shifter Plus. This is Quick Shifter like an auto blip because it's up and down. Again, this is only from 2nd gear to 6th gear and 6th gear to 2nd gear. Going to 1st gear or neutral, you still have to use your clutch just so everyone is informed. Or, as we all know and love, been seeking after, I mean almost everyone, is the auto blip. This only means that the KTM Duke 390 owner, I am, I can downshift and out upship without clutch. This is very useful. Napaka uh, gamitin niya. Kasi sa mga traffic, yung clutch lever, minsan nangangawit yung kamay mo or yung uh, kaka press ng clutch so napakagamitin nung quick shifter so mapapahinga siya when you're using it uh, I've checked a lot of bikes uh, 400, 500 uh, CC class some 600 don't even have a auto blip some most have a quick shifter pur up pero walang down so putting it on a Duke 390 on a 400 CC class 
as in two thumbs up with KTM. This is one of the biggest reason na nakita ko uh, big plus uh, when you're considering this kind of things. Some people will say na uh, it's a 400cc class. Why would you need the electronics and all? Honestly, most of the bikers uh, wanted a higher CC like a 900 uh, a liter bike. Why do they like that? Because all of those technology, you will use them. It will be important. I'm not saying that uh, using a bike that doesn't have it won't have fun. It's just, it's good that it's there when you need them. Number seven of our likes or pros of the KTM Duke 390. Very, very easy to flicker around. What I mean is because of its short wheelbase, you can maneuver it easily add that it's even lighter that some 150 cc or 155 190 or 200 cc class bikes are heavier than the Duke 390 para ka lang naka scooter dito sa Duke 390 uh, especially when you're uh, riding it when you're gonna look at it in front it's really big Pero pagka dinadrive mo na siya, uh, napaka-easy niyang gamitin. I mean, hindi ka mahihirapan sa traffic. On the expressway, it's very light, nimble. Uh, sumusunod siya sa katawan mo. It will be very good sa mga beginners. Uh, as long as hindi kayo matakaw sa speed. Or, I mean, may mga mainit kasi yung kamay sa throttle. And of course, number 8, syempre, expressway legal. As you can see with the videos and the photos, I've taken them in the expressway. And this is just to prove that the saying of the 390cc RC or the Duke 390 has uh, having problems with the expressway laws and things like that. Uh, this is just to prove that everything is already fixed by KTM and lto or the officials in the expressway i've talked to them i've talked to them it's all legal now and with the engine already indicated 400 cc literally on the engine and on the papers you will uh, have no problems with this ktm those are the eight things i like about my ktm duke 390 there i am next content will be the Bell Qualifier Helmet. Uh, and I will show where I bought it and then the comparison with Spider and other. So don't forget to subscribe para sa mga next content natin. Thank you. Enjoy the videos.